Let there be light and welcome to Living Essence. My name is Siddhanta Ananda and I welcome you to this first instalment of a series I'm calling The Mystic Parent. So why am I putting this together? Well, as a coach and as an intuitive coach, an energy healer, a lot of the people that I work with and I meet each day have traumas and struggles in their lives that can be related all the way back to the way they were raised as to how they were brought up in their life from parenting or guardianship. Now, the role of a parent is probably the most important role a human being can play because you are literally bringing up another human being. I mean, that's essentially what a parent is. And I think that gets forgotten. And as a mystic, I want to return these gifts back to ourselves. To be a parent is to awaken that you are not just responsible for yourself, but you're responsible for the world. But first and foremost, you are responsible to yourself if you're ever going to be responsible for others. So in putting this series together, I'm wanting to help enlighten parents as to what parenting is and how to approach parenting in a way that is more not saying, how do I parent, but as in, what are the things that a parent is? And how can I approach parenting in a way that I'm not trying to solve a child's problems or issues or anything, but I am one that holds space for this living being that is new to the world. And as they're learning, how do I become and be that safe space holder for that child? So a mystic. What is a mystic? I think we need to start there. A mystic is someone that's interested in those spiritual, those higher realities. And what I mean by higher realities are realities that are sort of outside of the objective and going more into the subjective. The mystic looks into the subjectiveness of life. The things that we can't quite grasp onto but have so much meaning. Things like love. It's so hard to explain and poets and actors and songwriters have all tried to in some way exude and explore and find out what is love and yet we are still seeing it as a mystery each and every day. Love is a mystery. Just like God is a mystery. And then if you look at yourself, you understand that you are a mystery. <laughs> Can you trace it back? Can you truly understand who and what you are? What God is? What love is? There is no coincidence in those three things. Those three things are all interconnected. And that's what mysticism is. It's not that we're trying to work it out and, and you know, find concrete evidence or say, this is it, Eureka, I've got the answer. It's simply coming into that space of being available. And this series of the mystic parent is starting today with episode one on being available a parent is someone who is choosing to be available that's what it means to be a parent and that's where we must start if you're thinking about becoming a parent you've got to understand that you're choosing to be available to someone else's life and that's huge it's massive you are in a way, God to that child. You are a metaphor of God to that child. And for those that are spiritual and those that are religious, we like to think that God is there, that God hears our prayers, that God is omnipresent, you know, there all the time. And as a parent, you're taking on that role. And it's not that you're there all the time, but what you want to instill into that child is that your energy is a part of them and in a way you are there all the time but you are a, you are a pure space holder you're not there to do everything for the child you're there to hold space for them so they feel a sense of security and safety love compassion and understanding more than anything the most difficult thing for children especially little ones for them to be understood. So you must be deeply in tune. You must be deeply in tune with yourself. And in this first episode, it's about being
being available. Availability is step one when it comes to parenting. You are choosing to be available to someone else's life for the rest of their life. Okay? For the rest of their life. Not just for those 18 years and then you let them go. You're going to be available to them on different capacities. And that doesn't mean that they ring the bell and at the drop of the hat you're going to be there. I'm going to touch on that. Because there are some parents that are too available. And there are other parents that are just not available at all. But what I'm saying in being available is preparedness. Preparing yourself and knowing that anything can happen. As a parent, you're going to be thrown curveballs left, right and centre. You're not going to see some things coming. But you need to be always prepared. Always prepared to what? Always prepared to hold space. Now, the first thing you're going to need to do as a parent and to prepare yourself to parent a child and to raise a child is first to, if you're going to be available for a child in their life, you first need to be available to yourself. This is of the highest importance. You must be available to yourself. What does that mean? Well, it's, it's actually, first of all, understanding who you are. Have you done the work to go in and understand yourself? How many parents, and parents out there that already have children, did you feel like you really prepared yourself, like you knew who this being was, this being here, that was about to raise a child? Had you really gotten acquainted with yourself? Had you worked out, who am I? Who am I? I mean, as a coach, I come across people... All the time, that's one of the first questions I ask them. I say, who are you? <laughs> no one can answer the question. At the end of the day, you are, just as God said, and you are like God to a little child, you must come to this place. God said to Moses, I am that I am. Now that's going into the mystic realm there. I am that I am. Notice that you're saying that, that God said, that's my name forever. I am that I am. So we all take God's name every day when we explain ourselves. I am a father. So you're saying God, father. I am a human being. God, human. I am a lover. God, lover. So you must be careful. Don't take the Lord's name in vain. Taking the Lord's name in vain is not saying Jesus Christ or oh my God or anything like that. It's not taking the Lord's name in vain. That's not taking the Lord's name in vain at all. Taking the Lord's name in vain, we know God said, this is my name forever. I am that I am. Saying, I am a failure. I am stupid. That's taking the Lord's name in vain. That's taking God's name and tagging something onto it. So what I want to do is present to you as a parent to venture into the realm of becoming a mystic parent, a, a the world of mysticism is beautiful. You're making yourself available to life. So practice meditation. Come to know who this is that's about to raise the child, that's about to bring a child into the world. Who is this that's going to raise a child? Go in, close your eyes, sit still. Each day, twice a day if you can, even just for 10 minutes, and get to know who this is that's going to raise another human being. That's going to create a new life and bring it into this world and be available to that life. You must first be available to yourself. So who is it you're being available to? As they say in the aircraft and the safe, safety message at the start, when the, uh, if the oxygen mask drop from above, Please put it on your head first before you do it on the child. See, it's no good if you pass out. You can't help your child. You must be available to yourself first. And then you can help the child. So each and every day when you go into meditation, simply sit with, I am. I am. Not I am this or I am that. Don't tag anything onto it. Just become I am. Because you're going to be a representation of God to this young child. If you're to raise this child up in a beautiful, wonderful, true way, 
you must embody a representation and that metaphor of God into this child's life. You must become I am. And when you do that, you actually come to the knowing and understanding of who you truly are. So 10 minutes a day, twice a day if you can, to prepare yourself as a parent, as a mystic parent, which just means a parent that's available, available to life and available to a child. Sit with your eyes closed and just say, I am. And if thought comes to invade that place, you just say, I am. And another thought might come, I am. Just come back to I am. Another thought turns up, I am. Simply practice I am. Because you will need to be very stable and in that state of equanimity where you are neither up or down, in or out, good or bad. When it comes to raising a child, you need to be able to hold space. What does that mean? Hold space as in so that they can flourish, who they are, so you're not imposing too much of yourself onto that child so that they truly come through. So they, their true being flourishes up and out so that we're not superimposing onto that child our wants, our needs, our hurts, our traumas, but we're simply holding space. And then that child will in turn learn, I am. We'll see you tomorrow or in the next video where we will talk about more of the mystic mindset when it comes to parenting. I'm sending you so much love and let there be light.